It's Jeremy from WebsiteBuilderExpert.com. In this GMT tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to insert tables. Now, tables is a very useful tool, especially if you have, if you have an online store, you want to list out uh, some store location information or contact information, or just in any other uh, websites you may have out there where you want to list out a bunch of data for someone to easily absorb. Uh, Jim do provides this tool uh, which is very handy as a lot of other website builders don't actually provide you with this tool and it's a much needed one uh, to make your website a little bit more user friendly. So let's get to it. So when you add element, just pick table right here. And here you see is a very basic table form. But Jimdo allows you to configure it and customize it very easily. So if you ever want to add a column, for example, you just go to the add insert column here and you see the little column here being inserted. You can add more contact information in this example, such as email, or you can add another one that's called um, uh, website, for example. If you ever want to take out a column, just Place your mouse cursor, click into the column that you want to remove, and here is remove column. And it's really that easy. So for email, let's just say example at yourdomain.com, you can always hyperlink this. Okay, so you can hyperlink to wherever you want. You can insert your email right here. And set link. And that's it. So website, let's try one more example. That's our website. Hi highlight the whole thing, insert link, right? And you just insert here. Now, if you don't want to link it to an external link, you can do that as well. You want to link it to somewhere internally. These are the pages that we set up for this example website. Um, so you can hyperlink uh, them internally for sure. So you're going to click set link and there it is. And you can also configure the styling of the any of these fonts. For example, I'm just going to make some changes very quickly. I can change the color as well. Just for example, so you can see the flexibility here. Now, if you want to set a, a background color or um, you know the outline, the dotted lines around the box, around the table, you can do that easily as well. Highlight the entire table, and you can set uh, table cell properties. You can align them to the left, center, or right, uh, vertical alignment as well. So if you want the uh, text to in each box to appear in the middle, or the bottom, or the top, you can. Uh, it's quite flexible here, you can adjust the width or the height. If you click on to advance, you can pick uh, the border color. So for example, we pick black and apply it, update. You can, you can now see that the borders are black. And if you want to change the background color, just coming back here to the table cell properties, click on color background, background color. And here you can style the, the the table to whatever you know whatever color scheme of your website each one of you have different uh, color schemes so this makes it very easy and user-friendly to do so I'm just gonna pick this color here click apply and hit update and there you have it click save and you can see your table here of course this one here is just an example you can style it and configure it however you want but it's just to show that this is a very useful tool um, especially for online stores or businesses uh, that a lot of other website builders do not provide Thank you.